Welcome everyone to this evening's episode of Relic News. We'll be featuring Geppetto Street from Facebook. He lives in a hundred year old home and has always been intrigued by the hobby. Geppetto went out and purchased a twenty dollar metal detector from Radio Shack. He metal detected his home and found some old license plates and some clod. This was enough for him to go out and purchase his AT Gold. Geppetto has found a lot of amazing finds. He also enjoys scuba diving and metal detecting. If you ask Geppetto where his favorite place to hunt, he'll tell you it's at schools and parks. Why? Because kids lose everything, including a handful of rings. Our next feature is Brandon Stewart from Facebook. He is from New Hampshire and has been metal detecting for approximately four years now. After Brandon had seen an ad and a TV show on metal detecting, he had to have one. And now he uses his AT Pro. If you ask Brandon what his favorite find is, he will tell you it's his 1812 artillery button. If any of you have found a class ring and wasn't able to return it, I really hope that Brandon's story inspires you. Brandon had searched for the owner of this ring for six months, including contacting the school, going through the school yearbooks, and calling the manufacturer with absolutely no luck. He even placed an ad in the Duxbury newspaper, and unfortunately never led to the owner. One day, he was speaking with Josh Kimmel from Beyond Sight and Sound, and he insisted to help him to try to find the owner. Now, after some searching, they found the owner two and a half hours away from Brandon. He had driven over to return this ring that was lost for 39 years. What an incredible story. The other people that were around, you know, some of these guys that have been doing this for a long time, they said, oh, that should be really good to return if you're interested in returning it. And I said, well, of course I'm going to try to return it. I said, I have no interest in keeping this. This isn't mine. And like you said, this opened up a whole can of worms. Everybody. This is Kenny, also known as K House on the metal detecting forums, and I'd like to tell you about a website called treasureclassifieds.com. And I personally use that site to buy and sell used metal detecting equipment, and it's really saved me a lot of time and money. And also, they have a forum there too. You can just click on the forum button, you're taken right to a metal detecting forum. Uh, you can share interests, share videos, and photos of your finds. If you have any technical questions, you can post them there, and, and a lot of us will answer those. So uh, anyway, if you haven't already done so, please check out treasureclassifieds.com. Now I'll feature Utah Nichols from Facebook and from the Family Campfire on YouTube. Utah Nichols is from Texas. He's been metal detecting since May. Now Utah Nichols found himself in a depression. He was watching YouTube videos when he came across the video from our late NC Digger. This is what inspired him to purchase a metal detector. He also figured out there's no better way of learning the hobby than talking to others. This is where he had created his Utah Family Campfire on YouTube. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Family Campfire by Utah. This week we have a special, so it's probably going to go on longer than the, uh, the normal one hour that I try to keep it at. Reason being is we are going to talk about the CWPPO in our Ohio day. Now I'll be featuring Matt Thompson from Facebook and YouTube. He's also known as Matsu on the Canadian Metal Detecting Forum. He is from Cornwall, Ontario and has been metal detecting for about five years. As a child, he was always fascinated by stories of buried treasure. Five years ago, he came across a video that reignited his fascination for the hobby and he went out and purchased his first metal detector. 
Here's a picture of him and his wife metal detecting. She was actually eight and a half months pregnant. I think this was a sheer recipe of a new little digger. If you ask him what his favorite find was, was when he was metal detecting on an 1812 homestead. He came across a sterling silver Samson Morden mechanical pencil. This pencil still contains the lead inside. Matt's favorite coins would have to be his 1782 2 Real. Yeah, yes, 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 yes! <laughs> what the hell is it? What is it, dude? Oh, oh my God. it's a George! It's a George! Sweet! Help! Oh, is that Spanish? I don't know, man. What it is, it is. It's a real It's a real farmer's field. He had found an 1845 British crown. <laughs> Is it a, I think it is. Yeah, because there's the pins right there. Oh my god. It's falling apart. What looked like an old can turned out to be my second Civil War Eagle breastplate. My best find of the day. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Oh, what signal was that? Oh my gosh, you gave a 36 signal really faint. This is what it's all about right there. Saving history, it's my second ever plate. Honestly, can I hold I'm so happy, y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Honestly. Uh, yeah, man. Yes! And to know that they lost this breastplate, and I was the one that found it, Unbelievable. That's what it's all about, the same of the history.